We drove over 3,000 miles from Toronto, Canada down to Southern Baja. This is it, baby. But it's the roads down here that will test us the most. Okay, we're sideways. This week we go off the beaten path to the eastern coast of Los Cabos, where we get resourceful for our dinner and potentially repeat the same terrible mistake we made the last time we were here. First week of van life in Baja has officially begun. Friends, we last left you when we arrived here on Playa El Tecalote for the van meetup, which was so much fun. There was almost, I think, 900 rigs. It was huge. There was music, food, great people. It was, it was great. We're still here. That sound you hear behind me is people flying <laughs> in these, I don't even know what they're called. So if you hear lots of buzzing, that's what's going on. So we've had a really great time. We're gonna just take you along this week on our first week of van life here in Baja. Today will be a big day of chores. Van uh, life chores. As you do when you live in a van. I always feel like half the time we're in the van we're doing chores, but that's what you need to do to get ready to go to the fun places off-grid. The key here is that we are going off-grid for at least a week, so the chores and the provisions are a very important first step. So let's go. I got a big old smile. Okay, next stop is to get new keys cut for the van because if you've been watching long enough, you know that our keys break in this van. In Toronto, I think we got a key for like $100. Here, two years ago, we got keys made for a fraction of that. So we're gonna, I don't know, get a lot of them right now <laughs> or try to. I've just been in here tidying up a little bit while Talia is getting the keys copied and I'm pretty sure she is becoming best friends with the key men because I see them through the window and they're just chatting and laughing and it's been like 10 minutes so far and I feel like she's gonna say it was a funny experience when she gets back. Oh my god. The actual key making took about 30 seconds. <laughs> he immediately ran up to me and he was like, Oh, okay. I will practice my English, you will practice your Spanish. So the whole time was basically an English slash Spanish lesson. <laughs> and then talking about, you know, like where we've been, where we're going, how far away is Canada, all this stuff. Like, anyway, I got it for, it was 400 pesos. Amazing. Which is like $32. Which like, we do have two keys right now. This would be a third and it's just some insurance. Yeah. We're trying to be responsible this time around. <laughs> Last time we literally had one. That was bad. <laughs> I also just want to have a little moment of happiness. I don't know if it's about the progressiveness of Mexico or just like my growth, but I feel like I Woo. am so quick to say that you're my girlfriend. Like I remember when we first started dating, even like the first three years, I would say, anytime we traveled, even in Toronto, like we were so yeah, like shy about it. I yeah. don't know. And now I'm just like, that's my girlfriend. You should have given him a sticker. I should have. What was I thinking? Well, <laughs> okay. I think that was a successful van chore day. We are back at camp on the same beach we were at this morning. Not a bad Monday. Good news is we did find a shower. Hot water was on and off, but at least the water itself stayed on, unlike our friends who had their water completely shut off and they had to drive and find another shower with shampoo in their hair. And then after we were feeling all spiffy and clean, we decided to grab a bite to eat and it was so good. Honestly, this fish had just the right amount of garlic and I never say that. There was a lot of garlic. So yeah, not a bad Monday over here in uh, in Baja. See you tomorrow.
so excited to set up, put our mat out, put our chairs out. It is just the most settling feeling when you're living in a van to find a spot that you're gonna spend some time in and really make it your home. Um, but first, I'm just gonna mix some Element. If you've been watching our videos, you'll know we've been drinking these guys. It's an electrolyte powder. It helps us stay hydrated. Most of us don't pay attention to our electrolyte intake, and it's really important. Electrolytes play so many vital functions in our body. For me, I've noticed that I don't get as many dehydration headaches, and also after we exercise, we don't get as many muscle cramps. I just love them. They taste good. They're salty, which is what your body needs. And I've also used them as a way to stay hydrated when I'm sick. Mm. If you are interested in trying Element, right now you can use our link in the description of this video and you'll get eight free single serving packets with your order. That's drinkelement.com slash towel and mad. Thank you Element for sponsoring this video. As you can see, we have found the perfect spot for tonight. We kind of camped out a little bit before our final destination and it's a beach that is perfectly groomed. There's no one around. There's maybe a couple locals down the beach. We've set up a little U-shape to protect us from the wind and we want to finally just introduce you guys to our friends so that they're not just random people in the background of our video. <laughs> so come look. Meet Dane and Joe. Joe is actually one of Maddie's good friends from cheerleading days. Insert photo of Maddie doing something. <laughs> and Joe is actually the first person that we ever knew personally. I guess Maddie, not me, I didn't know her personally. That actually converted a bin from like how many years ago? Would have been five years ago now. And Original inspiration. <laughs> Where did you guys meet? Tell us your love story. I ended up in Whistler and we were both working at Earl's together oh, and Earl's. then Nice. I needed a place to park in the winter months. Classic. And I offered up my parking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then these are our other friends that we just met a few hey. days ago. <laughs> this is Megan and this is Frank. Hi. And <laughs> Megan is a pharmacist and Frank sings songs. Take me to the place I love. Take me on the and Dane and Joe actually have their own YouTube channel that they do way crazier stuff than we do because they are actual outdoors people instead of fake outdoors people like us. So they do stuff that we would never do. So if you like that kind of thing, watch their channel. And also, you can't find Megan as a pharmacist online because I think that's probably against like healthcare like regulations. But Frank makes music. His name is Old Oaks as a yeah. As a band, as an uh, Old Oaks Music. Old Oaks Music. He also has another band called Work, W U R K. When we were at the van meetup just now, Frank just walked up to the guy organizing it and was like, hey, I can sing songs. Can I sing songs? And the guy let him sing songs. And he was incredible. And those are the introductions. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. <gasps> was it you that didn't like, like spicy? I love spicy. You like spicy? Yeah, Everyone likes spicy. Okay, I'll make a little bit spicy. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, that's party light all the time. Oh, it does have party light mode. Party you want to see party mode? Yeah. <laughs> you just turned into a DJ all of a sudden at a yes. DJ booth. <laughs> <laughs> So Talia was outside cooking. She's back inside now, but we have been infested by bugs because oh, we no. left the door open and the lights on. Okay, murder and rampage. So, you know, I just do gotta it. do what I gotta do. Do it. <laughs> Let's see how fast I can get all of them. Put a timer on. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Because you can't like do it slow so they tell all their friends you're coming. <laughs> Oh, Wait, they're, under, they're under the tiny fruit, green ones. Under the fruit basket. Look, lift the fruit basket. That one? Yeah. Okay, okay. can you go get the ones by, mm -hmm. by our bed? I need to keep going. Okay, oh, why the, is that light on? Turn it off! Well, no, because I need to be able to see them though now, Tal. Let me finish here. Did you come in here for something? Yeah, I want socks.
partly cloudy, very windy Wednesday here in Baja. <laughs> And we are starting a drive that makes me a little bit nervous. I know it feels like we're driving a lot, but it's just these few days and then we'll be straight chilling. Oh, and it's starting right now. <laughs> Without further ado, we have entered the back roads. These are the roads that get me going. <laughs> so last time we were here, I don't know who's stuck around that long, but we actually got stuck in the sand. It actually turned out to be amazing because all the people that helped get us unstuck ended up telling us to come camp with them, gave us a fresh fish dinner on the beach. It turned out to be an amazing experience. But our van kind of broke a little <laughs> from that experience. So we're hoping to go through this area with the same amount of fun, but not the same amount of uh, van breakage. So, fingers crossed. Okay, tight squeeze, tight squeeze. I can taste the dust already. Our poor air filter is just getting clogged up as we speak. But yeah, the washboard roads, no one likes those. Oh. They drive you insane. I like them. They have a special charm and they take you to the most special places. I'm flying like an eagle, I'm circling the sun I want to do so many things, things I have never done Just show me where the path gives out, and that's where I'll run I'll never be a passenger of what someone else desires I'm wild as the lavender, but hungry like a fire If you ask me where I keep my roots, I'll point up to the sky so we are pulling up to the exact beach that we got stuck at, but we are two years older and wiser, so Tally's going to walk the beach for us and check it out, and we're gonna get a good spot. It's more beautiful than I remembered, and I'm just pumped to be here. We've made it, we all have a spot. Our front tire is a little bit in the sand, but we're using our blocks to prop it up, so hopefully it will be all good. Uh, Tell them where you got it. I did, I just, I just caught it. Uh, Megan just threw this at me. I know. <laughs> but she got it from a fruit stand. It looks like a guava. It. it smells like, yeah, it smells like guava. passion. Oh, is that passion fruit? Ooh! Wait, is are it? these passion fruits? No, I don't. Pretty crunchy. It's a nice sweetness. Yeah, it smells really good. It's definitely slimy. <laughs> I didn't wash them. But it's got the seeds like passion fruit that you can kind of crunch, but it's a little slimier than passion fruit, but I like it. It all comes down to this growing feeling It's in my blood, it's what I'm needing One more bound, raise it towards the ceiling For the lucky ones <laughs> Look at what I just found on the beach It looks like a vertebrae of a big fish Isn't that so cool? Maybe I'll give it to Maddie as a necklace. I can't believe this is where we're living right now. Yeah. This is our home. This is our home. We live on this beach. This is our backyard. Wow. We're just sitting here making dinner and there are just whales for entertainment. Oh. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. This is our backyard. Oh yeah. This is our freaking backyard. The whales are so close! <laughs> I'm ugly just oh. bit my butt. whales were so close to shore everybody ran down to watch them I think I got them on the camera I was too busy watching with my real eyes so I hope I got them to show all of you watching because that was absolutely magical I like can't believe this is what we're experiencing right now Don't 
Ain't no pleasure without pain No love without heartbreak Perspective Reflection set Morning! The beach that we have found ourselves on has a little fishing village actually off to the one side. So on our morning walk today, we're going to go see if we can pick up some dinner for tonight. Thank God for learning how to speak like a little bit of Spanish, otherwise we would not be getting some fish tonight. Like I found, uh, Cuatro? Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Y cuánto cuesta? Pues no sé, a según los kilos. Oh, pero. Okay. Sí. ¿Cuántos kilos pesa? A, ciento, a 150 el kilo. Ok. Gracias. Y después. Okay. Hasta luego. <laughs> What they said, I went over and asked if we can just buy a fish because this is a fishing village where they go out, fish, and then they take it out and sell it at markets or grocery stores or whatever. So we're kind of like going straight to the, to the source and they said that they can just go out and catch us a red snapper that will feed six people. He said it's going to be a big one and they'll fillet it for us and we have to come back at four o'clock to pick it up. So that's what we'll do. I'm excited. It doesn't get much fresher than that. I don't know if this is just one of the things that you love because he's our dog, but <laughs> watching Bowie's toes spread out and grip into the sand is just about the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> it's just all of a sudden he has like, a lot of toes. Usually he only has like one singular, you know, they're all attached. And then in the sand, it just turns into so many. <laughs> I love when we're living in the van that we just have so much time to cook meals. Like in comparison to when we're home and we're so busy working and doing all of these things, we always like rush or we skip out on meals. But boy, do we eat good while we're in here. <laughs> Pinky dance, pinky dance, pinky dance, yeah. Pinky dance, pinky dance, pinky dance, yeah. I always want to eat pancakes for breakfast. Talia is more of like the savory girl. And this morning she suggested pancakes. So it's my lucky day. It's just like really not nice. Like, are you, are you sure you want to put this in? That's just like, they have that at the grocery store, like, you know, in the meat aisle. 1.5 kilos of fresh red snapper for 15 bucks. One of the best things about having neighbors and camping all together is that we make dinners all together. And tonight we're going to do team poke bowls. It always feels right. It don't cost nothing. A beautiful life. Make it mean something. We gotta spread the love. Spread the love. Spread that love. We started to believe. It's life changing. Setting me free. Love is way. We gotta spread the love. And it smells so good. I'm just standing here, just like <laughs> smelling the garlic. Megan has been so kind to build a poke bar buffet in her van for us. On top of Talia's fish. <laughs> protein base and we have yeah. a margarita bar happening in the other van how lucky are we <laughs> great for a cloudy day okay what do we have Megan? okay we've got the rice courtesy of tal and mads we've got some seaweed topping some chopped carrots cilantro avocado cucumber mango edamame red onion green onion spinach coconut oh um some goodness. trader joe's sweet chili sauce wow some sriracha mayo and then some garlic soy sauce honey sauce. Oh baby! Oh, it looks like right now. <gasps> and this is the oh, final wow. product. That looks, that looks amazing. I'd say that was a successful, successful. <laughs> Too many margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that was a successful family dinner. Oh, 
The new highlight of our morning routine is watching how excited Bowie is to see all of his new friends, humans and dogs. He just loves them. And if you know Bowie, he doesn't love everybody at first. He so hates everybody. <laughs> he has at least a 24 hour warming up period. So once he uh, surpasses that warming up period and he begins to love, it is just the absolute best to watch. And this morning he was just sitting outside of Joe and, da Joe and Dane's van, just like sitting, looking at the door, waiting for somebody to come out. It's the best. All right, the time has come. We are getting out of here. I have been pretty anxious about this whole sand situation. We are still in the soft territory. So hopefully it's all good getting out of here. Okay, so the smarter thing to do would be to go forward because we're on a downhill. So we could just kind of like roll down, but it's really, really soft over there. So that sounds scary to me. <laughs> So we're gonna try and just gun it back. And uh, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I hope. Okay, we're just gonna get the van purring. Get her ready. I know we've put you through a lot and you've shown us how strong you are. Today, I just need you to be strong again. And then you can rest for another few days, okay? I love you. <laughs> it's kind of weird she talks to the van in the same voice she talks to Bowie. <laughs> Good vibes only. Yeah, I'm ready. No, I'm going forward now. Yeah, I think forward. Cut towards. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go, go, go. Oh, it's deep there. That's not good. Not good. We're angels. It seems hard, but we're like. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be a Baja adventure without getting stuck in the sand a little bit. Right? Okay, one, two, three. Sailing! Woohoo! Yeah, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah! Thanks to our friends and our semi-new skills, we're out! It is so great to make mistakes and fail and learn from them and then apply those learnings directly. <laughs> and because of that... All right, let's get out of here!